in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Give us understanding. Sibarakoto shobrata hasabarada balada balada bos. Give us understanding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying one more time. The Bible says, "For everyone that asketh, receiveth." I like you to lift your voice in one minute. Ask God for something definite. We are on a series that can change our lives. Give us this day, O oh God, that which we desire. Shabarakoto Sopratika. Are you praying? Speak to the Lord. Jesus, I have come tonight. Visit me. Hallelujah. 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 Every time the word of God is about to come, it is important not just that we listen, but our hearts be prepared to receive. Are we together? We have to trust God for grace. This flesh can be so distracting. You can sit down and you find out that you're just looking, but you're not receiving anything. You need grace to coordinate your spirit to hear. There's a lot of carelessness that can happen to us as the word of God comes. That you are looking at me doesn't mean you are receiving anything. That you are nodding. You may even be writing. It doesn't mean you are receiving. I like you to say I'm a receiver. Pray. I'm a receiver. I open my spirit. He says, but as many as received him. Meaning not everybody has the capacity to receive. Hallelujah. Lord, give us understanding. We cry for the spirit of understanding. In Jesus name. God bless you. Please be seated. I welcome everyone. Thank you so much. Those outside, we bless and honor you. Those online, thank you so much. Distance is no barrier. We're on a series, a faith series. And um, we'll take off from there. Sorry about all of the challenges, the delay, the sound. I really apologize on behalf of all the relevant departments. We're committed to excellence it's one of our core values so please do understand with us when we do not deliver optimally praise the lord understanding faith part two understanding faith part two last week we began to discuss on the integrity of god's word just as a foundation to help us understand the concept of faith and um, let me just challenge us up front you know I was thinking about this uh, seriously today and wondering how many people know nothing about faith but will act as though they are generals of faith it's very arrogant to make boastful statements about a dimension that has not produced notable and consistent results in the life of a believer Praise the Lord. Most people consider faith to be a very basic teaching that can be summarized in two hours. <clears throat> One of the things that I fear personally 
is holding on to something that I think is true only for me to find out after wasting my time for decades that what I have held and thought was light was never light are we together the Bible says that we be careful less what we call light be darkness you can hold on to something and be so convinced about its reality only to find out after decades of frustration that is it, it does not add up spiritually praise the Lord and so as we examine the subject of faith please I want you to be determined to understand this thing once and for all hallelujah praise the Lord so we're discussing tonight on the dynamics of faith last week we um, by the way if you've not gotten last week's teaching please do get it so that we can follow on together we began to discuss how that um, faith is not a movement faith is not a doctrine faith is not a choice you don't choose and say I'm a man of faith no faith is a system that was designed for believers to live by and to walk through we examined last week how that um, the Bible had a lot of things to say about faith Habakkuk 2 verse 4 we looked at that scripture the B part how that he said the just shall live by his faith the just shall live by his faith so in this kingdom we live both in terms of the longevity of our lives and the quality of the life is a function of faith hallelujah several things in scripture in the ministry of jesus we see him telling people that the reality they desired was according to their faith not according to his ability according to their faith and um, we spoke a bit about the word of god i shared with us a few things about the word of god and some of the confusion that has surrounded the subject of the word of god and how that many people indoctrinate themselves religiously and never grow in the knowledge of the word i said to us last week how that god's ultimate desire is not for us to have this in our brains god's ultimate desire is that we become an expression of this we become the pages of scripture in reality the apostle calls it living epistles we become expressions of everything the bible is saying praise the lord so that if i forgot my bible at home um i will not have to weep because my life is an expression of the same i can walk to someone and use my life to read john 14 verse 12 for instance i can walk up to someone and read hebrews 11 from my life my life became it it, it um, becomes a manifestation of this scripture so that the people can now see that the word has become flesh and then is able to dwell among men but once we once we we take this bible and wrongly indoctrinate ourselves and think that the power is just in the cramming of scripture now don't get me wrong it is important but the power is not in the cramming of scripture john 1 verse 1 in the beginning was the word and you believe you are powerful just because there is memory of scripture no it says ye search the scriptures for in them ye think you will find life and you will not come to me the scriptures testified of the christ the living logos and now he had come they had all the words the scriptures but they did not receive him so the end of all our bible studies and our study of god's word is to come to a point where we can have an encounter with the word of god the word of god um, is not just the speakings of god it's not just the writings of god the word is logos logos comes from the word thoughts meaning the intentions of a man so when we say that you have received the word of god that means you have submitted that your life becomes an expression of god's idea god's intention a word carrying believer is not a mem a memory verse crimer a word carrying believer is one who has subjected himself under the influence of the word praise the lord and we shared a few other things that i think are worth listening to again and again um, tonight we are going to be looking at the dynamics of faith we're going to be looking at the operation how does it work last week we saw 
what faith was i will still define it and um it never tires me to help people understand the dynamics of faith let's define faith please hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 gives us a general definition it says now faith is the substance the tangibility of things that are hoped for and then the evidence of the things that are not yet seen so the apostle is giving us his definition of faith that faith is the substance of anything that we expect and the tangibility the proof that what we have not obtained yet um, is within reach and would eventually come to us but let's write a few definitions of faith that i think will really help us i'll give us three number one faith is sharing responsibilities with god faith is sharing responsibilities with god in the light of his word so as to get a desired outcome faith is sharing responsibilities with god you can put in bracket partnership with god faith is sharing responsibilities with god and the basis for that participation is the word of god in the light of his word faith is sharing responsibilities with god in the light of his word so as to get a desired outcome the second definition of faith faith is the name given to the action that we take faith is the name pay attention to this very definition faith is the name given to the action underline action the action that we take based on our conviction and understanding of god's word faith is the name given to the action that we take not belief action the action that we take based on our understanding and conviction of god's word these are very interesting words we are going to be looking at tonight i'm taking it slowly and i'll be as simple as possible i really want us to understand it faith is the name given to the action action praise god so if there is no action there is no faith you must understand this whenever there is no action there is no faith in fact put it this way whenever there is no action there is no persuasion there is no conviction your response is to the extent to which you are convinced convicted persuaded the way men walk on earth is such that they only act in line with their convictions they may claim to agree that they believe a thing but their actions are only tilting towards the direction of their convictions hallelujah praise god let me use this gentleman come please now watch this if I tell this gentleman please look up if I tell this gentleman that seat belongs to you that is a seat for you you can go and sit down anytime you want to now please look up look up everyone I want to have your attention if I tell this gentleman this seat belongs to you it was prepared for you right and um, prepared by me this is my gift to you if this gentleman looks at me and says apostle you can't imagine how grateful I am are we together now and i expect him to prove that he believes that i'm not joking by taking a step are we together it is his walking down to go and sit down are we together now now if he sits on this seat and he breaks and the seat breaks who is to blame are we together so if the seat cannot support his weight then he can safely assume that i'm an irresponsible person but not until he has taken action are we together so the name of that action is faith not the name of his believing his believing is not faith his believing is part of the process that leads to faith i think this is where believers are cheated 
we claim we believe God but then our lives do not show that we believe him we claim we don't believe the devil but our lives show that we believe him very well are you seeing now we can claim I don't believe Satan God forbid I rebuke you but all the actions we take are testament that we believe Satan we believe his word we believe his report I'll give you an instance many people claim in the name of Jesus recession does not come close to me I mean um, the Bible says this and that the cattle on a thousand hill belongs to the Lord all that that confession after ranting and rapping our daily lives show that we are living in fear in uncertainty that's faith you are taking in the negative you are you are agreeing with the devil by taking action are we together so faith is the name given i tell this gentleman this seat is for you and he says thank you sir and he takes a step now let me tell you how it works in the realm of the spirit pastor femi i want you to do something for me can you lift that chair up sorry we're acting a little drama lift it up so he doesn't see it okay now watch this believe there is a chair there go and sit down now I said it softly and it was easy for you to believe because you saw a chair but now in the realm of the spirit the chair is my word the chair is not an object the chair is my word so in the realm of the spirit whether it is my word or a physical chair is the same hmm. now if this guy is a believer what that means is whether his eye actually saw a physical chair or not my word is equivalent to that chair and he responds are we together so he comes and he stands and it is up to me to back it up now but this is what happens to many believers in the name of jesus i call for that chair and god says move and then you take a step and stand here and the devil uses scripture to say look wisdom is profitable to direct there is a difference between a chair and a floor this is the floor and then we stand here and say in the name of jesus who told you i, I mean i know it there's a chair there we are rapping and saying all kinds of things but the power is released at the point of action not just at the point of wishing sit down please are we together now faith right we're defining terms faith is the name given to the action we take based on our conviction and based on our persuasion of the word of God number three faith is obedience the third definition of faith faith in one word is obedience in two words complete obedience faith in one word is obedience two words complete obedience three words obedience and consistency Are we together now? First John chapter 5 verse 4. The Bible clearly tells us that our victory, the quality of our lives, the exploits that we will do. Please listen. This has nothing to do with ministry, being a man of God or a woman of God. This is a factor that will determine the extent to which we can make progress in life. First John. First John 5 verse 4 okay it's projected it says it did not say faith brings victory faith itself is the victory that overcometh the world and it says even our faith this is the victory that will bring you financial success even your faith this is the victory that will bring you healing even your faith this is the victory that will stamp the gates of hell even our faith that's if you and i are to be victorious in this kingdom 
we need faith we need to understand it learn how it works and live by it now if you see someone putting trousers on his head trousers your trousers that you wear you see someone just tie it on his head he's either acting or he's mad agreed do we agree because the level of civilization in our world today should not allow a sane man behave like that are we together now when you are dressed in your trousers nobody looks at you and says uh -uh, why did they cut this trouser into two why is your leg in one hole and another no 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 no. it's not strange are we together that's how faith should be you should never have to look at a man and say you're a man of faith that statement alone is a sign that we are not walking by faith are we together this is the victory my victory as a person our victory as a ministry your victory as an individual as a father as a husband as a leader is not just dependent on intellect please i want you to believe this believe this this is not some word of faith doctrine this is the basis of a victorious life on earth even our faith There are a few things we are going to be looking at right now that for me forms the equation of faith. Haven't agreed that faith has to do with our action. I want us to closely look at why many people really do not act in faith. Are we together? Let's look at an interesting scripture. I want us to examine a figure, Romans chapter 4. We are going to look at Abraham. Let's take a case study at the life of Abraham from verse 18 Romans chapter 4 from verse 18 Paul was speaking about the man Abraham and he represented a portrait of a man of faith the Bible already told us to look up to Abraham so we are looking up to him now there are certain things verse 18 frankly has everything that we need to discuss the dynamics of faith very powerful scripture very very rich ready it says speaking about abraham now listen who against hope you can stop here you can stop here alone and just discuss that meaning it is not unusual for any believer to have an obstacle another word for who against hope means in the presence of an obstacle in the presence of a limitation please listen in the presence of a desire in the presence of a need in the presence of an emergency in the presence of an impossible situation who against hope meaning physically speaking there was no no sense in thinking there could be a way out then he says believed in hope so the first thing we see in that scripture is the presence of impossible situations are we together now listen listen let me tell you something never allow obstacles scare you i think this is a revelation you should write never allow obstacles every obstacle in life comes to you in its magnified form I don't care what it is every obstacle in life every obstacle in ministry it presents itself in its magnified form who against hope who with no job who with no child are we together now who with no father who with no mother who with no sponsor who with no connection who with cancer who with hiv who with a tumor who with a breast lump believed kabbalataya i like abraham they didn't say he believed and later discovered there was trouble and said ah if i knew there was trouble i wouldn't have believed he said after being aware of the circumstance he still believed 
who against hope believed who against that report believed are, are we following who against that report madam you will never have a child we have checked you and we found out there's no fallopian tube who against that report still believe that she will carry as many children as she wants now please let me tell you something it is when faith manifests its results that it becomes pleasant the journey through believing God looks ugly, stupid and childish until the results vindicate you. Make no mistakes to think you will be rejoicing while you are ongoing. The Bible says there is he that weepeth, bearing precious seed. When you hear the testimonies of people, we laugh about it as they testify only because we have seen the other side of the miracle. But the manufacture process of that miracle, it took audacity and seriousness who against hope listen if you are a believer who is alive in our day and our time you better get used to obstacles prophesy to your neighbor and say get used to challenges i didn't say call them they are there there are giants on every mountain if you don't find a giant you are in the valley i guarantee you are we together only God knows the mountains that we are going to face in our lifetime. You have the effrontery to declare that our path will be as the shining light, shining brighter and brighter. Who against hope believed? Are you learning something? You know, listen, listen, listen. When I hear many people talk and they say, Apostle, I don't know what I'm going through. I'm even confused. Then I tell them, what did you expect? To believe when there is no challenge? It is usual to believe in the midst of obstacles. That is even when your faith comes alive. Please, I want you to... The standard of the journey of faith is the presence of impossible situations. If you are going to be a leader here, let me tell you, there is no amount of fasting that will vindicate you from the presence of obstacles. You better learn the system to keep you under their feet. You see, as you grow in the knowledge of God, do you know what makes a man called a father of faith? He eats challenges as food to a point where he sits and crosses his legs. And while they are now announcing and saying, ah, do you know? If you don't produce one billion tomorrow, they are going to lock the church. He goes to bed. The obstacle knows that he's going to give way. There is a way you go to hell, there is nowhere to run to again. And you look at the challenge and you say, I'm coming out. And it must respect your voice. Let me tell you one way God makes us overcomers. Can I tell you? It's not very interesting. God puts you face to face with your fears until you no longer fear them. This for somebody, I'm telling you, I'm enjoying what I'm saying. You can't believe it. So he puts you face to face. He does not put you to mock you. He puts you to reveal the strength invested in your spirit, man. Hallelujah. The presence of obstacles. Let's follow the dynamics. Believe. So the first thing we see is the presence of an obstacle. The second thing we see is that through a system we'll be looking at shortly, the man chose to believe. God spoke to him and this was a prophecy. So shall thy seed be as numerous as the sand in the seashore and the stars. And Abraham believed. Believed when Sarah could not bear any child believed in spite of his age he counted God faithful let me tell you something do you notice that the faith of Abraham was hinged on a word are we together are we together now the faith of Abraham was hinged according to that which was spoken according to that which was revealed you cannot stand on nothing and claim you have faith your faith must be hinged on a prophetic word it must be hinged on a revealed word 
let's discuss proper the dynamics of faith the journey of faith the journey of believing god and taking action starts with revelation everybody write it down revelation revelation the first key to your manifesting a life of faith is revelation revelation what is revelation revelation is insight into the promises of god insight into the provisions guaranteed by scripture revelation 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 also means insight into the system that will deliver the results you desire insight into the system or the operation of the system that will deliver the results you desire there are many systems of operation in the bible that are responsible for the delivery of different results are we together revelation insight the hallmark of revelation is understanding write it down you truly have not had revelation if you do not understand understanding is a point where you now know how that principle works and you know the role you have to play you know the role you have to play good master what shall i do to be saved not do you want to save me the problem with most believers is we know what god should do but we do not know what we should do we know what god should do but we do not know what we should do remember in hebrews 11 last week all through the journey of faith in hebrews 11 they said things or did things they the common denominator with all those elders the bible says obtained a good report is that they took action based on their conviction of god's word so we see revelation that leads to understanding listen it is vain to act on a word you do not understand when you don't know your role listen 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 confusion always comes into any life where there is no clarity clarity there must be clarity of assignment clarity of purpose concerning my prosperity oh god what is the way out you see you don't guess your path of breakthrough you find it out through revelation are we together the doctors say i am ss i am on a journey to change that report so what do i do ss i change you it won't change that way that's not faith number one you are not standing on any known word you know you are just speaking blindly you're not going to get a miracle that way is god helping us now many of us think the point of miracle is when we confess scripture no 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 there is a law confession is useless until you believe we are going there with the heart man believes first you don't confess to believe you confess to make it manifest that you have believed the bible calls it the spirit of faith or the operation of faith is god helping us tonight please pay attention to where you have been missing it so that you can correct that link are we together so let's use someone again come thank god you're a doctor now this guy has god forbid in jesus name this guy has um his ss for instance now watch this please because this may be you this guy may be ss are we together now i want to change from ss to aa is god a herbalist no is he a magician no is he a miracle worker absolutely yes so the first thing you have to do is not just to say in the name of jesus me i'm tired of this thing but it's there are we together oh it must change then you go for test no 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 you are taking action based on what are we together now it is not action i'm showing you where we cheat ourselves in the body of christ it must be based on something 
so this guy the first thing he needs is an encounter with the word that has a provision for his healing you read about money you'll be rich but i guarantee you you'll never you'll never be healed the 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 revelation about money does not bring healing are we together the revelation about money does not bring healing just like jollof rice is not fried rice although rice is involved in the two processes are we together now you do not just read anything and say because it's scripture remember you are reading the words of a man is is his commitment to you the dynamics of faith this guy wants to change his situation the first thing is is he really interested do you know i have found out it's costly to believe that there are people who want their situations to change you may think because they come for miracle service they really want their situations to change it's not true it's not true at all that's why jesus will ask them what should i do for you i can't assume that you are tired of being blind you may just want money are we together now I think it was Papa Deboye that shared a story of somebody who I think he was crippled or so I can't remember and then he prayed for the person and the person was healed and the person got angry he really got angry because I mean he got a lot of uh, uh, generous donations from being crippled people pitied him he didn't have to walk now that his legs were working no more free lunch and he said he told papa Deboya, you know he was angry what kind of thing is this you have you have scattered my whole destiny i didn't ask i just asked you for money not for healing as funny as this looks there are people like that there are people who love being pitied they enjoy their attention they get around obstacles so they hug those obstacles and remain there hoping to draw empathy through it you will never rise out of challenges that way you must so hate where you are that you do any scriptural thing it takes to get out of there woe to them the bible says who are at ease in zion this guy if he's passive about changing from ss to aa i guarantee you he will remain ss oh can i pray for you yes i don't mind you are just careless and casual there is nothing intentional you are not angry enough it's not a concern to you are we together no you don't approach spiritual things like that that level of 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 um, pacifism does not bring result when you are determined and you are saying the name of jesus christ my entire lineage everybody has been ss i don't find the genotype ss in scripture that means something is wrong somewhere and i'm going to change it so his first assignment is not to start speaking his first assignment is not to run to the hospital for test it will still be ss i guarantee you his first assignment is to find the basis upon which his action will be placed on the word of god you see faith is hard work that's why lazy people cannot believe god faith is not cheap that's why we prefer talking because we think there's nothing to do in the name of jesus i am free you are not free we are seeing it you are not free faith is not foolishness there is an aspect of the equation where you're speaking now gives life but not just that you lazily speak and then you think things will change no sir is god helping us so he's he begins to search the word thank god for technology i download every place where jesus healed matthew mark luke and john while people are snoring their destiny i'm awake showing how serious i am lord i believe and then i begin to study for by his stripes by his stripes the holy ghost begins to take advantage of that word and i see jesus christ on the cross crying and looking at me and i see the blood dripping and the spirit of god takes me to the communion drink this my blood of the new testament an exchange like a blood transfusion whoever drinks of my blood eats of my flesh i'm showing you meditation has my life in theology is called the doctrine of interpenetration the mystery with which two entities become one i not only believe in him his life he says this is the testimony 
that God has given us eternal life. Then he says this life is in his son. Whoever has the son has life. Now while I'm meditating, the devil is trying to tell me when you finish wasting your time, I'm there waiting for you. But then I take my eyes. Who against hope? And while you are meditating, you will feel the pain. I'm not telling you you are going to be laughing. Oh, apostle, you don't know. It's, it's 10 years I've been married. I know. I know it's not easy. I can only imagine. Please, I don't want you to ever think faith is not denying pain. Listen, please. This is where what preachers have made a mistake. Sometimes in a bid to help you become a man of faith, they can say, just pretend there's no pain. I say, there, there is pain. Please. There is pain does not mean you don't have faith. But what I'm saying is, I know that there is an obvious situation, but against it, against it, against it, I am looking up to something higher. Are we together now? So, I am coughing out blood. Everybody is seeing that this is blood. I can't call it water. I will be lying. That's stupidity. That's not faith. This is blood. I am, I am shrinking. It's obvious that this is witchcraft attack but against it i'm believing by his stripes and i'm meditating upon it let me tell you the moment i begin to study through the stories then i hear while the evening was come they all came and gathered to hear and to be healed now the holy spirit locks in there with you to hear and to be healed that means the walking of miracles is tied to the hearing of faith. The hearing of faith, the walking of miracles. The hearing of faith, the walking of miracles. There is something you must hear to plant faith. You act on that word. A word that is spoken, the hearing of faith. You see now, the word of God is growing in my spirit. The Holy Ghost is infusing something in me. The hearing of faith, the walking of miracles. The hearing of faith, the walking of miracles. You act into that fire petrol on fire your spirit is ready for miracle service now you are coming for miracle service not carelessly people just strolled and came let's come and see what will happen but you have already come with a revelation the hearing of faith the working of miracle are we together now the hearing of faith the moment the man of God comes up your spirit is open the hearing of faith the working of miracles in the name of Jesus Christ be healed and you don't just stand and say but I didn't fall and you are saying a lot of stupid things that are cheating you while you are standing wasting three hours and you are being cheated there the hearing of faith it is useless to take action when understanding is not there understanding define your role in the equation please write this down but it works through faith the grace of God appeared to you but the action of faith there was endurance there as free as salvation is someone must take a step of faith is that true please don't get into this understanding that because it's by grace it comes to you by itself you have a part to play you are God. That's why we call the meeting koinonia. It's a sharing together. It's a participation. If you understand this key, you will know that you are to sit down and wait for God blindly is to sit down and wait in frustration forever. Are you getting what I'm saying now? We're examining the dynamics of faith. So understanding. Now I have come to a point. Let me use finances. Now this gentleman was born from a background, for instance, poverty, curses, yokes, suffering, you know, all kinds of things. This person gets tired of his situation and prays and fasts and says, Lord, change my life now. Let me tell you what that fasting will do. That fasting will enable the Holy Spirit lead him to a tape, lead him to a book, or lead him to the word.
because it is not magic the best he can get from that prayer and fasting is favor that is instantaneous someone will just come and say the lord told me to give you twenty thousand. that is good but that's not it's not enough to fund your destiny so god encourages that current situation because you are hungry it's obvious you will die if it doesn't show up so twenty thousand is given to you to help you but that does not mean that's his system of doing things now you go and study the word directly or through men and women who by grace they've had access to that revelation now listen i begin to study the word of god and i find out that there is a role i have to play are we together now i there is a role god has to play this is god here his path is eternally settled don't confuse this so i now begin to search from the word of god there is he that scattereth and yet increases. there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty that scripture attacks my greed and i come to terms with the fact that i'm a greedy person i've never helped anybody that scripture he that gives to the poor lends to the lord ah i've not given to anybody so this is the key yet ye have robbed me lord i believe i'm now seen i've always been greedy and i told you remember hebrews 11 the first elder the bible talked about was abel it says by faith abel offered a more excellent sacrifice he gave lavishly because he believed that god was his supplier cain was a miser because he did not believe there can be another supply let me tell you greed is one of the proofs of unbelief that's why politicians are very lavish because they know they can fetch it again so they are not necessarily working by faith but there is a conviction that they can fetch it anytime people are greedy because they do not think it will ever be enough by faith abel offered a more excellent sacrifice is god speaking to someone here let me show you the major of our faith where we miss it in the dynamics of faith let me show you a very interesting scripture bless you bless you bless you let me show you one scripture god gave me a revelation that i mean it just blew me in a way um matthew 17 please we'll read verse 15 to 20 media help us it's going to us tonight matthew 17 15 to 20. matthew 17 15 to 20. matthew 17 15 to 20. are you there now watch this this was the case of a lunatic right it says lord have mercy on my son the father of the boy now for he is lunatic and so vexed and oftentimes he followed into the fire and off into the water we're reading down to 20 and brought him to the disciples and they could not heal him so this was a situation where the disciples tried to act are you seeing that it's not all about action and jesus answered and said oh faithless and perverse generation how long shall i be with you how long shall i suffer permit you bring him hither to me verse 18 and jesus rebuked the devil and he departed at him and the child was cured from that very hour 19 then came the disciples now listen listen came the disciples to jesus apart and said why could not we cast him out why could not we prosper why were we not healed they were asking a question why we did not get results verse 20 i want you to look at this scripture god gave me a powerful revelation i'm about to show you i've heard many preachers talk about it but god gave me a new light it says and jesus said unto them because of your unbelief please listen it says for verily verily i say unto you if you have faith and say grain of mustard seed not size and the bible says as far as the earth remains seed time and harvest meaning your faith is inactive until it is planted until it is planted the seed is the word the soil is your heart faith is of the heart he is giving us an understanding to the operation of faith if your faith can act in the similitude of a monster seed it is the smallest 
but when you plant it in the right soil give it time are you getting what i'm saying now so it's not talking about size many of us just come and say the size does not matter are you kidding faith is a seed is like the mustard seed how do you benefit from the mustard seed i have i have a, a, a little bowl full of mustard seed and sometimes i look at it i turn it it's so small really tiny i turn it and it doesn't even fall you know just sticks to the bottom of the bowl and i'm looking at it i say oh this little thing and this is what the bible says our faith will be like but the wonder of that seed is when it gets to the soil meaning your faith standing inactive not reaching your spirit once the word of god has not gotten into your spirit faith cannot be produced it must be like the mustard seed planted watered allowed to grow then it moves mountains the seed does not move mountains the tree the seed produces is what moves mountains Is God helping us tonight? So revelation, understanding, produces conviction. Now, the point of conviction in the faith equation is what we have called belief, pistis. Belief, belief, conviction, persuasion. Are we together? Belief is not the same thing as faith. Belief leads to the manifestation of faith but belief is not the same as faith the moment you are believed then you are now ready to take action but that does not mean you have manifested faith by itself i believe god will prosper the business i have studied the word of god i understand the dynamics i have sown a seed i have studied i have gotten mentorship now you have believed the next thing is to take action this is where the action part that we call faith comes in are you seeing now most people start taking action blindly and we never get anything number one an encounter with the word produces revelation leads to understanding understanding leads to your knowledge of what your role is in getting that desired outcome then you are convicted we call it persuasion you are now persuaded beyond the obstacle so i know that there is an obstacle before me but i also know that that mountain is surmountable now i can take steps are we together romans chapter 10 please we'll read from verse 8 to 10. let's look at some of the actions that we can take to complete the faith equation there are not many actions we take the actions are broadly obedient actions broadly obedient actions it says but what saith it the word nigh thee now listen even in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach this is the dynamics of faith now right that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus and thou shalt believe in thy heart that god raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved verse 10 this is the correct protocol for confessing the word of god the correct protocol for confessing the word of god is first with the heart man believes then with the mouth confession is made are we together the bible calls it the operation in fact this is what the bible calls the spirit of faith second corinthians 4 13 give it to us please second corinthians 4 13 second corinthians 4 13 but we having the spirit or the operation of faith as it is written right it says we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written how is the spirit of faith the word spirit there means the operation of faith so also if you want to operate it this is what you must do you must believe and then you speak you don't just speak blindly brothers and sisters the word confession comes from the hebrew word homologio and the, the the context of the word is to repeat as you have heard but it's not just to speak as you are hearing 
it is actually to repeat on the strength of the conviction you have based on what you have heard it literally means reflect the person talking to you both in conviction and communication not just speaking the person talking to you is standing upon an understanding you too stand upon that understanding and then you speak are we together there are different actions please listen write this down there are different actions that the bible requires for different manifestations of results there are different actions that the bible requires for different manifestations of results there are different actions an example of such actions number one speaking speaking consistent with god's word speaking is an action that the bible requires there are instances in scripture where the delivery of certain results attached to your speaking releasing the power of creation the creative force of the word calling the things that be not as though they are number two giving there is the action of giving a piece of a seed of anything that is of worth is an action there are instances in scripture that will require that action to perfect your faith are we together the third action a step of faith physical steps of faith as in the case of healing physical steps of faith you move the part of your body that could not move you try to take action by faith physical steps of faith physical steps of faith number four obedience to revealed instructions obedience we are stating some of the actions that can be taken that the word of god the step you need to take is obedience to an instruction given by god there are faith actions is god helping us the end of your faith experience is that you get to a point where you now commit god now listen god write this down god is only committed when your obedience is perfected god is only committed when your obedience please I want you to understand this god is a loving god he's a gracious god but he has subjected himself to the influence of his word the bible says that he exalts his word even above his name god only committed to your cause and to your life where your obedience is complete the bible tells us in habakkuk chapter 2 it says the vision will speak in the end it didn't say the vision will speak in the beginning you will take steps and it will look like nothing is happening another word for faith is consistency is god helping us please action let me emphasize a, a little more about this action action taking action for me is about the hardest aspect of faith do you know why because sometimes write it down most faith actions are risky most faith actions are what risky most faith actions are risky you have 200,000 you are looking for 2 million and the Holy Ghost speaks to you and says so everything and you have 72 hours to raise that money now that's risky what if that was not god you have complicated the case listen another word for faith is r-i-s-k is a risk that's how you spell faith faith is spelled r-i-s-k play it safe you will lose out in life you must be audacious not stupid audacious that's why your faith must rest upon something god said this 
I take him by his word. If I perish, I perish, but I count him faithful. Are we together? It had never happened, but Noah, I will do it. See, training yourself to hear God is one of the greatest investments you can make in your life. Write it down. Growing to a point spiritually when you learn how to hear God is, is, is a treasure you will, you will live to enjoy for the rest of your life. Because the problem for many people is whether it is really God. The problem is not that they do not have the grace to obey. Let me tell you why the disciples obeyed effortlessly. They could not doubt that it was not God. They said that which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which we have handled. Right? And Satan has done something to our generation. Satan has created a haze and a cloud around spiritual perception. There is no time in human history where there is confusion about discerning what God is saying. He has corrupted every avenue, every biblical avenue to hear God because Satan knows that faith comes by hearing. So he focused on corrupting dreams, corrupting visions. Are we together? So now you don't even know whether the person you saw in the dream is your husband again because you saw somebody whereas it would have been a good opportunity but Satan has now confused it. You saw 20 faces. You don't even know. There's, you, you, are not, you are even afraid of the dream. We've had people who were praying and landed in Shika. There have been cases like that. People praying in tongues. You see how Satan wants to corrupt everything. Let me tell you something. Satan fears that men hear God. Because he knows that when men hear God, they can take action. And if it is God, he will commit himself. So Satan's project in your life is to confuse you as much as possible. So because he knows that your faith is tied to the word of God. It's tied to the clear of what you know what God is saying. If someone walks up to me now and says, Apostle, do you know this koinonia program you are holding is not in the will of God? You are out of the will of God and you have been walking in disobedience. You are about to die. Now, I'm not going to go back and say, God, please help me. Is it that I didn't hear you? The encounters that lead to this was so certain. Brothers and sisters, never do anything major in your life until there is solid conviction. But I know God sent me. Do you know why many people chicken out the voice of God is not clear? Don't marry when you have not heard the voice of God. Don't give birth to children when you have not heard the voice of God. You thought you had seven. Now when the going gets tough, you hear three. It's not clear. See, I'm saying this. Let me show us where. Because you see, in, I told us last week. I hope you know during the time of the apostles, they didn't have this. So their faith was entirely dependent on what Jesus told them. Jesus told them, go to the lost sheep of Israel. The kingdom has come. Heal the sick. Cast out them. When he was speaking, faith was planted. They believed him. Did they believe him? They were persuaded. Now he did not go with them. So you don't have to wait until you see the physical presence of Jesus. They went. He sent them just like he's sending his word. So his word went with them. Don't, Jesus must appear before you obey. His word is him in your life. He said go. Now, don't think they were just laughing when they saw someone's hand twisted in a way that it say, is their bone in this hand. I say, yes. Heal the sick as you go. I tell you, this happens to me all the time. We returned from Yola. It was a mighty, from, from Mubi. It was such, such a mighty, mighty crusade. I mean, there were all kinds of miracles, miracles, miracles. It was very humbling nobody gives me a guarantee that's why people stage manage miracles it's not easy because they want to make sure they can create it if god didn't speak let's speak so they can say hey, jimmy behave your hand is not working well so that if god does it or not at least you can release your hand and say it's working now because faith is hard work 
if faith is not hard work nobody will fake miracles are we together God will never give you any guarantee outside of his word looking for any guarantee out of his word is unbelief he will send you with his word watch this I have money here I like using money to teach come the guy is already smiling <laughs> watch this hold this what is this you can't say you don't know it what is this money 1000 naira please look up look up call this the word of God are we together now this water is 1000 naira huh are you holding 1000 naira this is the evidence of what you have not seen is that true this is faith is the substance this is water for you this is the same as water because it can buy water are we together go and drop it and pick water and come back so shall my word not return drop it now and come it shall accomplish because his word is currency when he sends you the word can buy you things miracles signs this guy dropped the 1000 now the way God, once the miracle happens the process is reversed the word returns back to him ready to be sent again the word is like a messenger it returns to God meaning it has not yet returned to heaven and it will stay there waiting for your faith to insist believe what I'm telling you don't think I'm motivating you because the fire in Nigeria will require you understanding this yes that's a song that's the song the word you speak can do what what's the song can turn things around now watch this I've given him the word of God hold it this is the word of God spirit and life are we together and then you drop it they will say you are too small to hold it whoever can hold it can receive it so the word of God watch this because you rejected it as many as received him he gave them power to become they received so they had power to become so he gives you a word son you are going to your marriage will be a blessing your children surround your table as at the time he's, he's saying this you ask a lady out and say i want to see your parents and she said, don't ever talk to me about marriage again but the word of god says your marriage will be a blessing are we together the word of god to you comes male and female he created them he says seek out of the book and read none shall want her made is to take this word and never let it go you can fall but hold the word i guarantee you if you hold this word it will bring you a result it will bring you a result i know what i'm saying that is how this work that we are doing by grace came that is how this thing you see will come into your life now anybody who ignores the word of god is really foolish you are studying the word of god is the same thing as using an atm every time you are studying imagine yourself using an atm please answer me is this minerals help me is this minerals if i dash this guy now and i say buy bonds after the program he will be laughing did i give him bonds did i give him um, minerals i gave him the substance of what he's hoping for i gave him the evidence of what he has not seen so paul says now faith is the word of god i give you the equivalent of the blessing here is the principle to cash it and you say god i want money and he says you are foolish you see how foolish a lot of people are you will excel i'm showing you rugged faith because i'm telling you our generation is a generation of complete unbelief try to do anything that is of faith people will call you stupid that's why people don't get any significant results in their lives when it's time to pray for the sick god told us to put a miracle service so we tell the sick bodies come listen how come i am laying hands on somebody how am i sure or how am i not sure that this guy has a communicable disease that can infect me too do you know the kinds of people i have laid hands on tuberculosis whatever if i am lying with this thing i'm telling you 
by now you will know you are praying for him the problem is on the leg you are praying on his head he said no no it's here as if it's where you touch it's not just where you touch when you take panadol do you swallow it from your leg no 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 answer me you just swallow it and go to bed the drug knows how to find its way and solve that problem why have we downgraded the word of god help that lady under the anointing look at me i'm showing you a principle that if you understand you will change your life are we together so shall my word be so shall my word be so shall my word be god gives you a word hey jimmy i want to make you a billionaire take that word i am making you a kingdom financier you take that word by the time he's giving you that word your atm is 20 naira so what who taught you that this is not currency please believe what i'm telling you so you take that word You've not been pregnant. You've been trying and trying. The baby has refused to come. Heal me. He sent forth his word. If I give you 1,000 together with the skill of a doctor and the doctor now says lie down and cuts you, opens you and removes whatever tumor, you will be grateful. God gives you this and says this is both doctor, this is both money. Just take it. Now let me tell you something. The moment you fulfill your part of the deal, this word is so powerful, it can become anything. The Bible simply said the word became flesh. Flesh means it had a material substance. Albert Einstein suffered and did something to the world that we have refused. We have punished people and given them zero in physics, not knowing that that Albert Einstein formula is the secret for transferring spiritual realities. He gave us a relationship between energy and matter. That energy and matter are interconnected. They can be changed. It's not physics. That spirit, that's, that's the word of God. He simply calls spirit energy because there is nothing else he can call it. There is a system that transfers the word of God to a material vessel. You are standing and God says, I'm going to give you a house. Where is the house? In his word. Take that word. The word itself will begin to move people. I look at things in my life today that God told me they will come. And I watched them come today and I said, Lord, so your word really brought this. Anything the word of God cannot produce is not available. Write it down. Don't let no habalis fool you. Don't let no science deceive you. Whatever the word of God, if the word of God cannot give you a child, I guarantee you no amount of witchcraft and diabolism will give you a child. They will only give you trouble in human form. Hallelujah. Is God helping us? revelation leads you to understanding brings you conviction now convicted you know what you should do then you take consistent action consistent action you're not going to take you see you must add to your action patience brothers and sisters you must add to your action patience nobody plants maize and comes next week in the farm and gets angry when you plant maize what do you expect to happen to it please answer me when you come back and you just see one little green thing do you complain you start rejoicing my maize is growing so why don't you celebrate the miracles when they start the leg could not move before but now something is happening it's moving and you just look and say Kai, this man is fake it's not working when elijah saw the cloud like the fist of a man's hand immediately 
immediately he rejoiced he didn't say i will keep praying until the environment is tense immediately he saw that he knew that the system of transportation had arrived the goods had arrived and he started preparing to run i'm on my way to better days listen faith faith is god's system of rescue you may say i did not come from a good background listen to me you may say my father was this and that i didn't have the opportunity to be educated i didn't have the opportunity to grow up in london i came from a village faith is the victory faith is the victory we are gathered here tonight because of faith god sent a word men believed it they walked with it they mounted pressure on his integrity I'm on my way to paradise. Hallelujah. One time, we're returning from, I don't know which of the, I, I can't remember where we went now, and a lady sent me a text and said she saw, whether she saw me having an accident or something or a plane crash. Now, it may be that that's what the devil had planned, to kill me on the road. But you see, I have an understanding that at the point of obedience God is also committed not just to bring his word to pass to protect you while you are obeying him are we together now I can sit down and just make noise and brag and say no 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 I will not die and jam myself and shred myself into pieces they will carry my bones and bury me. you will just cry for one week I know you love me but I tell you one week and that's all koinonia continues I go to heaven but I didn't finish my assignment are we together see the next time you make an audacious statement pause sila ask yourself what am what rock is my house built upon because it is never the building it is what the building is upon you are seeing people dying you better ask questions it's happening are we together you are not giving birth Please, I want us to be honest with ourselves. This night, we are going to examine the areas in our lives where things are not working and find out what part of this equation am I missing. Good master, what must I do? Good master, what must I do? Oh God of prosperity, what must I do? God of influence, what must I do? There is no excuse. There is no excuse. There is no excuse and wizards nonsense there is one person getting a result is God challenging us we must take responsibility over our lives over our lives over our lives and he will protect you God gave us a word we believed it there are many things that God has said to me even in recent times and these things look big and gigantic but then I just told him, I said, Lord, I'm a believer. You have trained me well. You trained me well in the school of the spirit. God trained me to believe him. God is able to do just what he says he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause He will give up. He said, Listen, the Word of God. That, yes, the Word of God. Just with the Word of God, yes, I will. It created the heavens and the earth, it can create my destiny. I don't believe it. Keep watching. Ha! When a man has vowed to believe God, I show you a dangerous man. You stand on his way, the word will clear you as if he didn't see you. Never conclude on a man who has vowed to be addicted to... See, let me tell you. Do you know why I preach and talk to you? I have seen what God has told me you will become. I have seen it. Not just in visions he has told me. I prayed to God one time and I said, Lord, I don't want to pastor people who are weak. I want spiritual men, but men of influence. And God told me, this is what you do. 
so you are sitting now i know you are wearing a rubber shoe don't worry you will see what will happen to you i've said it prophetically we will all be great and the greatest part is we will all know ourselves i said this thing when we were sitting on mat i believe yes lord I Yes, Lord, I believe it is well Now, let me tell you, you can choose to. There is something called the mystery of mockery. A lady gets up in the night and she's prophesying. I'm a virtuous woman in the name of Jesus. She's reading books and you say, are you this desperate for a husband? The mystery of mockery. See, let me tell you. Do you know why many of us don't this this our this our wanting not wanting a bad name huh i don't want you to say i am this and that see if you don't make up your mind to obey the word of god and you leave the word of god because you are trying to be nice to people you will fail and they will not come to help you are we together mockery when you saturate your phone with nonsense music you are listening to anything and it doesn't matter and he say, look i have to be social right i said before you life and death i said before you blessing and cursing because there are people listening to me right now and we think what i'm saying is nonsense you will find them they want money they want influence they want anointing but they will never listen while the word is coming like this they sit down there in pride and they are arguing it and then they never really get any result i have not seen one person who is ashamed of god and ashamed of the things of god who rose up gloriously in his life you pray in tongues you have a little corner you are praying in tongues somebody just enters and you just behave as if as if as if what you are doing is an embarrassment outspoken obedience because you believe god god said it i believe it One day God will tell you, carry 80% of your clothes. Share them strategically. Ha! God, I just bought this one. You would have given me the instruction before this one arrived. Can you do it? Don't laugh. I'm telling you why people never rise. See, let me tell you something about not just prosperity, but the blessing of God. If you do not stretch your 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 giving life you know how a rubber ring is you must get to a point where you are you can release anything at the word of god otherwise get ready to be poor i say this the key to increase is not greed the key to increase is not business the key to increase is activating the word of god you are not a title you are scripturally entitled to poverty i guarantee you I guarantee you it is not a gimmick by a man of God to collect your money where a people of integrity most people are not consistent titles most people don't give we are greedy greedy not to the poor not sowing into anointings not nothing yet you want a harvest to come from where the Bible says if the cloud if your cloud be full of rain I cannot afford to walk into a future I have not sent seeds ahead of. No. Are we together? The word of God. I believe this word and I act on it. I act on it. This is the word that has helped us so far. When you stand before a sick body, there is no guarantee. You can pray in tongues and do all you need to do. But at the point of obedience, Jesus said, they shall lay hands on the sick. Come. So this brother is sick. I know he's sick. We are all seeing the lump. I'm seeing it. He's feeling the pain. But Jesus said, they shall lay hands on the sick. Now it is up to me to look and say, Kai, you said, how did this thing come? And just turn back. Let me tell you what I've done. I have robbed God of the opportunity to prove himself now somebody may ask apostle but the other time i did exactly what the word of god said and it did not happen do you still count him faithful let me tell you something about god 
if you obey God sincerely from your heart and there is no result, then it has not finished. Keep watching. There is hope for a tree, even though it be cut short. He said, at the scent of water. Have you watched films? Actor and the boss, they will beat the actor as if he entered a meat machine. You would think he's dead. But from the beginning of the film, a ghost appeared and told him he was going to make it. You know all those kind of films. While they are beating him, he's remembering that vision. And sometimes he would die truly. Then the ghost will appear and give him life because the ghost must defend what she said. Oh, come on. If a ghost can appear to defend it, why not die believing God? It's better than living, believing men who cannot help you. I believe God. Seated in this place, bless you, are men and women who are where they are today because they have believed God. Let me tell you, make no mistakes. Scattering this congregation and people following online are men who are where they are today because they have believed God. By faith. There are people here who were once Muslims, right? We have some of them here. By faith, they believed God and his prophecy and they denied the shame. Some of them went through hell in their families, including death threat. By faith, God committed himself. But people sold cars and houses like idiots. Believing the word of God, there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There's a man years ago, he's a pastor. He gave this testimony, true story. He went for a convention and there was a building. They wanted to roof it. And they were raising funds for the roof. And, you know, he had his own house, beautiful house, personal house. And the Holy Ghost ministered to him and said, Son, I want you to give this house to that church. They will sell it and roof the house. He didn't know how to tell his wife. That's why I said it's good to hear God as soon as he held the wife's hand she started crying because her too had had the instruction from god and she looked at him and she said if it is god let's give it let me tell you something they came out of that house as landlords and became tenants what do you call that in our society stupid stupid is that not true your parents will say never come for koinonia again if this what that idiot is teaching you people don't ever but they they remember the word of God not just intention not just desire the word of God do you know they sowed that seed it was heavy upon them but from that day the Lord spoke to that man and said you will never build a house in your lifetime again as at the time he was speaking I think he had at least 17 of those houses all gifts somebody comes and says God said I should give you this bungalow please come and look at this house if you like it now you like the man's story do you like what he did? If you claim to be Abraham's children, you will do the works of Abraham. He took his only begotten son. There are men who God gave them instructions all through this year. From 12 o'clock till 3 o'clock, spend time with me. 12 to 3 is me and you. That's hard work. There are people God give instructions fast one year. January 1st, to December 1st there are people here there was a gentleman that fasted 400 days 400 days I rounded up the last day with him I've never fasted 400 days in my life 6 to 6 not, not 6 to 10 6 to 6 please I'm challenging you Koinonia your destiny is in your hands everybody say my destiny is in my hands if you want to rise up you can take this word today Next week, I'm going to be teaching us on faith boosters. I'm going to be teaching us the mystery of thanksgiving, praise, partnership, the things that help faith to stand. Romans chapter 4 verse 18. Let's attempt to round up. We are going to pray tonight. This is the victory. Romans 4 18. Believed. So let's look at a few words. Those are the key words there. Against something he believed that he might become according to that which was spoken god spoke something in my life i see obstacles standing against i believe 
that I may become that which has been spoken say in the name of Jesus say it in the name of Jesus everything God declared about me I make up my mind that I will walk by faith I make up my mind that I will live by faith one of the things God is already telling me about the miracle service this month's miracle service is that he's going to be focusing on fruitfulness this fruit we are going to deal with this issue of barrenness this miracle service if that's the only thing we do we are going to trash it to nonsense next week we are going to announce it i don't care where the baby will grow whether it's on the leg on the head that baby must grow do you believe god you believe god for miracles I wish I wish I can I can bring my heart and put it into you so that you will understand this thing nothing will ever change in your life until you walk by faith look at me nothing will ever change in your life until you choose to walk by faith but apostle what if it does not work let it not work then you blame God but not before the system of the kingdom is not until you see results step first there are people God has given instructions here. They will never take a step. There is an action you must take. Do you know there are times that God can give you a crazy instruction. Go and lock. Go and lock yourself in a room. The action may be praise. Tehillah. Praise God. You know those Igbo songs? Those, those, what they call them? And God can just close you there and say dance for one hour it looks stupid are we together you feel you are too big uh -uh. dance again God just say I should so because we think he he uses the foolish things let me tell you I want you today to learn to be a child before God sometimes the instruction God can give you is when you come for koinonia as praise and worship is going on or worship just lie down flat on the floor that's an instruction that's an instruction it looks stupid but there is a miracle in that instruction the miracle is not in lying down the miracle is the unashamedness to obey God are we together I remember a woman one time she had been trusting God. I don't know why I'm talking about barrenness. She had been trusting God for a child and the Lord gave her an instruction. She said she should buy, she should buy children's clothes, baby clothes for two people who already gave birth in the church. Do you know this woman went and they said, God told her, this was what she said, that the money she would have used for her own child, this woman shopped like die and divided it into two and gave those children like two months she took in. She took in in Mubi where we went um, they might even be following online now the last time we went before last week while we went there one particular person he believed you know the wife they've been trusting God for a child a lecturer there in the university there and nothing had come and he believed the instruction he believed God gave him was that he should drive me that was the instruction throughout the program a doctor PhD dropped his pride and was the one who was driving me all around drove me all through when we left that place i think it was one month later his wife took him when i went i went to pray for them where was the demon where was the cause the cause is only stand because your disobedience keeps them standing when you are ready to radically obey not not half obedience let me tell you i believe in my spirit one of the greatest areas of disobedience in our lives is giving I'm not saying this because I want money. I fear God. Please don't, don't, please don't confuse this. I want you to prosper. One of the reasons why many of us may never rise in our personal finances where we are is this giving thing. It's a, you, you would rather pray for 12 hours than to give 1,000 naira. You can even pray and do frog jump as you are praying, but that money should come out of your pocket. No, 
so you never rise your spirit is charged but you are poor So you excuse the instruction by going for prayer department meeting. You even go by three and say, Lord, I give you one year extra prayer before they start. No. Every result, every result has the instruction that leads to it. Every result has the instruction that leads to it. Every result has the instruction. The apex of your faith work is when the instructions come obey fast and obey completely obey fast and obey completely bishop oyedeko was sharing how that while they were dedicating covenant university in the presence of dignitaries people coming from different nations other intellectuals he said the lord told him with his suit or whatever it is that he was wearing to lie down flat by the gate of covenant university in the presence of everybody to lie down flat and hand over covenant university to him and he said that was what he did in the presence of everybody he went down flat now it's easy for you to go down if you like you can fall down or lie down flat but for a man at that level he said he laid down flat and he said lord i hand over this university to you And you can see that it is God that is leading it. You know when God is leading a thing. Please, I'm speaking to us. It's time to lay your burdens down. And pick something higher. And start running with tangible results. For some of us, throughout this 2016, the only thing that has moved forward in your life is your prayer life. Nothing else has moved forward. That's not the will of God. It's the will of God that everything will move forward. hallelujah our parents have disobeyed God to their peril they, they never walk by faith so this car I bind that spirit I suffered with my money this is my first car so it becomes your last one you stay with it there and punish the whole family members do you know let me tell you the thing about faith if you are not manifesting faith and you see someone manifesting faith and getting results do you know what will happen to you you will be angry that's all that's why the society is full of angry people what is this lady doing that they are promoting her in the office she must be sleeping with the manager no sir you she's obeying every instruction god is giving and she's three years in that place of work but she has risen you are there but you will never obey god do, do not over intellectualize God. God is spirit. God is spirit. God gave a corporate instruction and they obeyed. When was the last time? If you cannot look at your life and say you had an instruction from God, honestly, honestly, something is wrong with your spiritual life. You should go for a retreat. When God begins to give instructions, Femi, wake up. It's two o'clock. But I need to speak to you. Just spend some time. No more sleep. And you put worship song. And you are just walking around. Lord why are you waking me by two? It looks like these kind of things have become extinct in the body of Christ. Where God wakes people. When you say God wake me. People look at you. We wake God. You. God doesn't know who to wake. He's, he's waking you. You see. We, we have become. Not, not koinonia now. Not koinonia. We're spiritual people. But I'm saying this carnality has so swept the body of Christ. When people say God spoke to me. Just. I beg you, God, God does, doesn't know what to speak to. What, what made us become like this? God can say stand up for me. He may not tell you why. He's just saying pray. Just keep praying. Shakata batakata. That's all the instruction God gave. Walk around and pray. 30 minutes he has not said anything. 40 minutes he has not said anything. 50 minutes he has not said anything. One hour he has not said anything. You remain at the last place of instruction until another one comes. And you continue praying. One hour, 10 minutes you are still praying in tongues. An anointing comes on you. And he says, speak your Bible. And you begin to write. I will make you exceedingly great. God is a master of speaking to people in the night. Ask anybody that knows God. The night time is when his voice is, is, is clear. All the people who don't have faith are sleeping. God is speaking to you. 
I will make you exceedingly great. He will use a scripture. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you, Ejimi. Ah, you wake up in the morning with that word. Guys, the Lord has spoken to us. He said he will be with us in Koinonia. Ah, oh, let's see what will happen. And you begin to see evidences of his presence. There are promises that God has given me. I have a very deep covenant with God. I have a very, I respect the speakings of God. There are things God has told me. I look forward to my birthdays. I look forward to the end of the year. When we finish Koinonia now, while I start my retreat, I look forward to hearing what God says. You see, let me tell you, one thing that will boost your faith is to create seasons where you meet with God. God, Jesus, we are one with him, but he's not our mate. All this nonsense that is a God, if you want to touch me, talk to me anytime. You need to create a time. I'm busy looking for money, looking for fame, looking for wife and husband, and we never hear him. One word from God will give you what you are fasting for for 100 years. Listen, brothers and sisters, where you are in life, somebody was once there it took faith for them to live there you have refused to leave that place and leave the space for others use your faith and get out of that place in this kingdom last scripture it is unto you according to your faith it is unto you matthew chapter 9 matthew chapter 9 the last scripture we'll look at today and then we'll pray i want us to take 10 minutes really praying in the spirit matthew chapter 9 from verse 27 actually to 29 but you can leave it to 30 but 29 please watch this it's projected and when jesus departed thence two blind men how many blind men two blind men followed him question how can a blind man follow somebody it didn't say they called him two blind men looked for him and followed him they had heard about him are we together I'm sure they had been discussing the day this man comes near here. That's the day our eyes will open. What of you is a me too? My eyes will open. That's why they were friends. Two blind men. If two blind men can be friends with themselves for their healings, you should make friends with good people. Don't make friends with people who choke your faith. You want to take a step of faith. You carry the 10,000 naira. They just hold you and say, sorry. Yo. It's not like I'm saying you should not give, but you too. Be wise, I just say, Oh, it's true. Oh, God, you see, that's not a good friend, that's a nice friend, but it's not a good friend. And when Jesus departed, tells two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, they interceded for one another, have mercy on us. We have discussed this thing, we are determined as friends to be free. Next verse. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him. Do you know it's interesting how Jesus acts? Sometimes he will just ignore you as if he does not see you. Full of grace and truth, the fountain of love, having two blind men call on him and he just walks away and leaves them and gets into a room and watches their faith. They try to stagger their way into the room and he says you are qualified for a miracle. Then you sit down in your home and think that God will just come to your home and give you a miracle. You are dreaming. Two blind men. Are we Christians? Are we Christians? I hope you know that this is, this is Jesus we are talking about. Not the disciples would have said they are proud. But this is the living logos. Two blind men. The Bible says when he came into the house, what happened? Do you know the blind men would have been angry and said you are an man you are not the messiah and they will, talk, will he change him just like many people get angry with god he is still king of kings the heavens are worshiping him you are there in hell and so you have to follow him through this one leg following and don't follow with the other leg is why many people are cheated if you will follow him go all the way then he says the blind man came to him and jesus said to them listen believe ye that I am able to do this. In other words, that you are standing in the presence of the word does not mean you will get a miracle. Do you believe? Are you convicted? Do you see that I am able to do this? And this is what they said. They said unto him, Yea, Lord, 29, 
then he touched their eyes at what point did he touch their eyes they believed they came they had done their part of the deal he now touched their eyes and this is what he said while he touched their eyes according to my ability help me please in response to the action your journey of faith started not from when i came your discussion that you must be healed while you were doing that the word was a witness to your conversation like the woman with the issue of blood who told herself if i may but touch the hem of his garment and now jesus came and they went i'm sure they were tired and they said let's just continue he says according to all that activity not just you're saying yes according to everything you started doing to that point be it unto you so when god gives you prosperity according to your endurance according to the time when you sowed a million naira and the harvest didn't look like it was coming it is still part of the equation of faith according to the time when you were sick and you tried getting up and you fell when you fell you would have been discouraged but you still said lord i believe you according to your faith listen it is not the last thing you do before the miracle that is your faith is the summation of the entire process of action that is your faith man of god according to your faith you you deserve the anointing when you were praying nobody watched you i was watching are we together it was in response to my word when others were sleeping you were standing mommy when you were interceding for your daughter i was watching his faith look let me tell you when you see successful people in the kingdom and you say it's not fair you must be joking when god is supervising the law himself we're going to pray we must stop here tonight but i want to challenge your faith hear me people of god if it will ever change in your life it's not all up to god sisters hear me we have lovely sisters in this place but i want you to rise in this season not just spiritually rise in every aspect of your destiny and it's got to be by faith brothers you will be established by faith not by jobs the just shall live not by paycheck the just shall live how by faith if you think all you will ever get in life is because of the certificate you are holding get set for a shock in this life i tell you without any fear or favor somebody can sit down on your promotion and just hate you we have wicked people controlled by demon spirits in this life but your faith Look, let me tell you. Doctor, Pastor Paul Enenche said, this world is not a playground, it's a battlefield. If you don't adjust your mind fast, you will be in for a rude shock. Are you getting what I'm saying? I remember some years ago, someone got married. Hallelujah. And we went for the wedding in Kaduna. I'll never forget this. Quite, quite some years ago. And when we went for the wedding, they had a step they had a stepmother true story true story there was a stepmother and we noticed that people were dancing and dropping gifts please listen people were dropping all kinds of gifts and when they had finished you know they were about to pack the gifts we noticed that the guy's stepmother just came a small gift that looked like a a small bucket you know this bucket you put flour or sugar inside and just wrapped it and dropped it and when I looked at it, another brother too saw it. I said, Kai, because we we're going to pray for the wedding gifts. And I insisted that we we'll open this thing and see what is inside. When we opened it, what did we see? A white bucket. They just put a stone inside and closed it. God is my witness. Welcome to planet Earth, where all kinds of people are permitted to live. Those who love God, those who hate God, and those who hate you. And if you don't do anything about it, they will take you to the grave. hallelujah mm. many families let me tell you are suffering this mysterious sicknesses and diseases that they cannot explain just comes upon a man and a family there are some of us here 
you just went to the hospital for test and they told you you have hiv you have left you you lived a pure life hallelujah something has happened in the realm of the spirit i remember somebody i think it was here is on video that he slept quietly and in the night somebody appeared to him with a syringe and said this is hiv virus injected it into him and he woke up physically with hiv i'm not scaring you i'm letting you know that if you are not aware that this devil is not your friend are you getting what i'm saying somebody suffers in school you now finish school you go and serve you graduated with first class or two one five years down the line there's no decent job no decent job you want a job the manager is saying you know what to do and now you want to keep your christian integrity but you don't know how to command the forces of darkness to bow you now announce in your family that god is calling me to be a pastor from that day your whole life is tied into pieces everything you do does not work brothers and sisters i don't celebrate satan and evil but i'm letting you know there is evil in this world right now but there is power in the name of jesus there is power it's in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus it's to break every chain break every chain hallelujah i shared with us the testimony brothers and sisters if not that i saw this woman i would think it's a lie i've heard about it but i i was to i was to experience it for myself a woman who gave birth to a dead baby that came out half man half monkey half man half monkey with hair if not that i was sitting face to face with this woman if i had another man of god say it i may join those saying this is a lie some exaggeration just to make the message look powerful i've seen all kinds of evil But in the name that is above all names there is an authority that must command the forces to bow see this is what happens to people and you find out that one breakthrough will just open every area of your life are you seeing many of us are struggling you are trying to fight your health you are trying to fight this whereas there is a root problem if that problem is not dealt with you may be healed but it will appear as something else i hope you know that every believer is likened to a tree how do you make a tree healthy do you clean the leaves you add fertilizer at the root how do you destroy a tree you deal with the root the bible says the righteous is like a palm tree is that true this is the mystery of total breakthrough you must see every man like a tree you waste your time trying to remove the leaves at once when you address the problem it's like somebody who is complaining of headache but the real issue is typhoid fever you can take panadol again and again you will receive temporary relief but tonight some things will be totally settled in the name of jesus christ you will find out one area of your life and then marriage opens up then job opens up then your academic opens up and that's when you say goodness so this is it a dear lady of ours even while i was in abuja last week I, I met with her this lady had worked for four years very hard working lady she was here i remember that time it's on video also one fair lady that came from abuja and i prayed for her this lady for four years she had been working no promotion no benefits no nothing every area of her life was grounded i prayed for this lady and she went back to abuja and her boss looked at her he said come you've been working in this place what has been done for you right now this lady follows the boss and travels with him everywhere when her friends heard about it they say it's because you are fine she says have i not been here four years with the same pretty face nothing changes by itself till you force it to change it will change one day is a dream if you force it it will change are you getting what i'm saying there are many of us you are standing outside students you are you are suffering 
things are not working people think you are dull but you are not dull you enter the exam hall you blank out and then you will do tutorials and be helping others when they are marking scripts your script gets missing The wickedness the bible says while men slept an enemy came and planted tears in the wheat and ran away there are all kinds of people lumps fibroids barrenness cysts all kinds of nonsense all around until you know the might of god you will keep getting afraid of satan but when you know who god is you will know once and for all that this devil he was created and that he can submit to the authority of his creator who am i speaking to tonight is your season for real change you can see you can sit down and watch others there are many of our sisters here as you're sitting down right now it's not like you are not pretty it's not like you are not virtuous you have done everything you have read every book you've knelt down for every man to greet them but no marriage something is wrong it even becomes a terrible situation when is the man that doesn't have a wife to marry and this is it's easy to understand for the ladies because they position themselves to be found what of the man hallelujah but the Lord prepared this apostolic and prophetic platform to end these assaults of darkness in our lives listen many of us are the only saviors of our parents right now and our families you know we believe in family in this place right your salvation is not complete until the members he said as for me and my house hallelujah every one of us standing here came from a family and let me tell you no matter how blessed you are if your family is not changed for many years my father was grounded at his place of work his genius were being promoted everything was working for others except him this man was almost dying of high blood pressure and one day i got angry and we had to settle the issue tonight god will settle some family so please take what i'm saying seriously i'm speaking like this because shortly we are going to pray hallelujah there are some of you anytime somebody wants to bless you something will happen to that person and just cut eye. somebody says i want to bless your family everything becomes grounded there are some of us who are in ministry you have done everything you know groundbreaking prophetic match round everything nothing is growing But Jesus Christ brought us here tonight so that we can experience his victory. Hallelujah. And in a few minutes, we have to pray before I begin to minister. Brothers and sisters, I want you to pray and say, Father, visit me. I didn't just come to watch others and clap. Hallelujah. The power of God is present to heal. No matter what the sickness is, no matter what the sickness is, believe. Is it cancer? Is it HIV? Is it fibroid? Is it genotype issue? No matter what it is. You are stranded in whatever area of your life. Please position yourself. Because God is about to do mighty things right now. No matter how far you are inside or outside, talk to the Lord. Don't be joking. This is about your destiny. This is your chance for exchange of story. Say, Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired of clapping for others. Lord, visit me. I want to make progress in my life, but there are forces that tie me down. Lord, it's the season where you will increase my greatness. I'm tired of this terminal disease, tired of this cancer. They've told me I have days to live. I'm tired of walking on a wheelchair. I'm tired of this blindness. Tired of this deafness. Tired of this sickle cell anemia. Jesus, you die.
died and already paid the price you paid the price already oh yes jesus paid the price with his blood he paid the price already it was paid in full he paid the price for that cancer to live he paid the price for that hiv to dry up he paid the price for that barren womb to be fruitful he paid the price he paid the price go ahead and pray and say jesus you have paid the price jesus you have paid the price for the deliverance of my family we are tired of this hardship it's not your will for us to continue in this hardship and lord like jacob we hold on to you tonight we will not let you go till you change our story come on pray koinonia we will not let you go those outside are you praying lord change my story academically i'm tired of writing jam again and again and again and again and again change my story change my story you already paid the price you already paid the price oh hallelujah he has paid the price hallelujah he paid it with the blood of jesus the blood of jesus is the price the price the devil must let you go the blood has been shed already jesus said it is finished that cancer is finished hiv is finished the devil may not want to let you go but you will enforce the word the bible says how forcible are right words how forcible are right words how forcible rise up on your feet everybody and begin to blast in tongues and said my time has come my time has come oh god my time has come tonight you will visit me as your blessing man let your eyes see me oh god as your changing stories visit me visit me visit me visit me visit me oh god that epilepsy must die tonight that yoke of financial hardship hallelujah hallelujah i believe hallelujah hallelujah the power of god is in this place i believe lord i believe listen 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 let me tell you something hallelujah the man who laid down at bethesda he'd been like that for 38 years there is a way a situation has been so long in your life even when they are telling you god would change it you say lord change the rest tonight do not leave any stone unturned are you getting my point whatever it is you're trusting god for many of us left different states many of us left different local governments i like you to pray and say lord for this and that and that area of my life he must give way tonight yes lord it must give way tonight it must give way. The power of God is already moving across this place. Goodness.
Alléluia. Alléluia. Listen. Powers that hold your hands and tie your destiny must let you go. Hallelujah. I see miracle everywhere. Miracle everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. Miracles. We see miracles. Lord, we see miracles. Right now. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Listen, listen, listen to me. I tell you there is a strong spirit of faith in this place. Listen, listen, please listen to me first. Many of you will be surprised what will happen to you right now. Hallelujah. God is going to the root of people's issues. It's not just sickness or this. Please believe me. The, the Lord kept telling me this again and again. The root, the root of the issue. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm about to pray right now. I'm about to pray inside and outside. There will be such a release of the forcible power. You can't stand it. No. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of your son, there are forces of darkness that are responsible for the tears of many people and families. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, as we shout that name, let there be such a move, my God. My God, lift your hands. At the count of three, I'd like you to shout the name Jesus. As you shout that name, devils will leave right now. One, two, three. The power of God right now. I command forces, forces of darkness, yokes, yokes of darkness, yokes, bring them out. The fire of God is falling. I challenge altars. Outside, the power of God is falling outside. Activity in witches and wizards right now. Satan, in hands the devil must let you go tonight oh, Lift your hands. hallelujah i see a number of people inside and outside and i see chains all over you chains as you shout this name it's already happening to people right now as i speak as i shout that name jesus when you shout it many of you will hear sounds of physical chains dropping are you ready now at the count of three one two three jesus I hear the chains 
Those outside, lift your hand. Just those outside. Those outside, lift your hand. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. Lift your hands. Those outside, you're going to shout Jesus. There will be such a move of fire. Physical fire outside. Are you ready now? Those outside. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. I cause power. Now, by the spirit of heaven, I cause principality. I cause power. I cause power. And Hallelujah. Lift your hands. The spirit of delay. 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 The Lord is talking to me now. Hallelujah. The power of God will fall on certain people. Straight up. God is killing the spirit of delay. And I see this row. The angel of the Lord is standing upon this row. Right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of delay. Across this row. Go, 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 I cause delay. I cause delay. I cause delay. Samata, Iparata, Limato Paria Catoda, Sipa Pata, Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Gabriel. 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 Please, let's save time. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. This is serious witchcraft. Gabriel, outside. That guy is outside. You are wearing something like green. Greenish, like flowery something. Green. Where is that? You, do you know me? Come and stand here. Your, 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 time, your time has come. Please stand up. Stand up. Let's save time. I give the change. The chains falling. Take a papa and crete pati de le bosho taba go patalaba let her go now you are a devil of darkness release her family now release her family now release her family now i do the chains hallelujah look at me my brother i need to pray for you there's nothing working in your life. Is that true? Look at me. Absolutely nothing. People just see you and see you dressing well. There is not financial. Nothing is working. Look at me. You are a sincere person. Are you getting my point? You have cried. You have cried. There's nothing you have not done. But tonight God wants to change your story. Bring that lady. Because I see her going through the same thing this guy is going through. Bring her. Let her go now and forever. In Jesus' name. Go! To break every chain. 
break every chain. My brother, in the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy to you. Look at me. Things will so change and turn around in your life. You will be surprised. You believe this? Father, let it be done. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing military uniform. Who is a soldier? Who is a soldier around you? I'm seeing his. I live in the barracks. You live in a barrack because I'm seeing military uniform. Hallelujah. God is going to help you. Huh? You need the help of God. You have gotten to a point where you have done the best by yourself. It will take God to help you. Hallelujah. Victoria. 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 The Lord is showing me a name, Victoria. We may not call everybody Victoria. Victoria. Ah. Well, I believe when God speaks to one, he speaks to all. Where's the person I was talking to? He has gone. I've not finished, my brother. Hallelujah. Come. We are going to break the course. This, this is, I'm seeing this is, this is a yoke of darkness. Please hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we break this evil. Right now. <sighs> Madam, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man. I'm not seeing a woman. I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a man. The power of God is going to come upon a lady now. There will be a loud shout. Let me have that lady here. It's going to happen right now. There is a strong force of the spirit. It will, it will be so strong upon the person. Please, when that happens... Break every chain. Break every chain. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you. Please, I want you to believe Hallelujah. Come, sister. Just those who came out, don't take them back. Just, just leave them. Hold my hands. Out of her. Go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil of darkness. Father, I pray for all of the people. My brother, I didn't pray for you. That was why. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Change his story. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll just lay hands on you people. I don't know what the issue is. But as I lay hands, I'm seeing a man. Huh? I want to pray for you. Please. Because this thing has tied your life down. Lord, let her be free. Jesus. Let her be free in the name of Jesus. Please, if I pray for you, just go back. Change their story so God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever reason you brought them out, change their stories. As I lay my hands on you, I want you to know that everything is over in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A drama will be acted in this place shortly now. Look up. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to release marriages. This is it. It will start answering from this lady. It will start moving across right now. The power of God will start touching people. I'm about to pray. I've not prayed yet. It will start touching ladies, especially ladies. In a strange way, God is releasing marriages supernaturally. Supernaturally. This way, just like this. Just like this down. That's how I see the power of God moving. Lift your hand. Oh, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we come to every cause of marital delay. Lift God's people now. 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 Every cause. Bring them out. Bring them out. Every spirit. Stopping marriages. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit. 
Talking marriage Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Bible says male and female, he created them. Not male and male. Not female and female. Lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. If there is any family here that their marital destiny has been tied down as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives right now may the fire of the Holy Ghost move and cause deliverance right now every spirit husband every spirit wife every devil every demon go go by the fire of the Holy Ghost every act of witchcraft that has tied families we release you right now Hallelujah. Goodness. God is setting families free. Oh, the devil must give up on you tonight. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That girl on red, tying red scarf, there is an angel pouring oil on her right now. Right now, I cause that spirit. Go! Go! Out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. That's right, that's the lady. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming upon her right now. Go, go, go! Release her right now. Release her right now. Release her right now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to know you mustn't manifest and do all these things. God is just setting people free. Are you getting my point? I like us to just flow with what God is doing right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Kibala kuzata la barita bala daba zika. Zike le barada bazuto bala daba. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm seeing a lady. You had a dream and a dog pursued you and beat you. Please, who is that person? I, I like us to save time, please. I may not talk to everybody, but we still have a lot of things to do. Please. Hurry up. Who is that person? Well, if, it's, if you are thinking about it, just remain on your seat, please. This is not guesswork. This is what the Holy Spirit, because we have to pray for the sick. You're going to be free right now. You're going to be free right now. I give the chains. The chains going in. Please hold my hand. It ends right now, oh Lord. It ends. Release her right now. Release her right now. That power of darkness. Let her go. In Jesus' name. Please come, let me pray for you. I break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. I break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. That demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. We break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of
name of Jesus. Look at me. Your family is not even you now. You are a worker in this house. And as a worker, you are entitled to certain blessings. Huh? Your family, there is a cause of hardship upon your family. Your entire family. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. Let her go. Representing her family. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. What is this that I see in the spirit? You must let her go. Because she's a faithful worker in this house. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release your family. I release your family. I release your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me the vision of a tree. And I'm seeing it tied with ropes. Tied with ropes. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. Is tied and this is like the destiny of this family and they've done everything to tie it but I release it right now I release it by the spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus and I prophesy on everybody whatever the devil has tied take the destiny of any family that has been tied be released now 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 every destiny that has been tied by witchcraft go be released now hallelujah 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 I tell you the breakthroughs that are happening many of you will leave this place you will be surprised just believe me there is somebody outside two people in fact the fire of God will rush upon them right now in a mighty and strange way they will never be able to contain it outside when that happens let me have those people if two people in a powerful way is happening right now by the spirit you can't stand it you will just be standing and it will come on you in a wild way like fire like wild fire it will come upon you please let me have the ladies like wild fire it will turn you you will be running it will happen to you you will be running around you will be running around. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, to break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. Hallelujah. Who is Salome? There is a wild spirit in this lady's family. This lady, you're seeing. Let her go now. This is Benway State. In the name of Jesus, release this family now. Release this family now. Hallelujah. Salome. The meaning of your name in your language is like treasure treasure or something precious who is that like treasure or don't tell lies here oh please you are the one what is what's your name no no salome just wait here you are the one salome the the meaning of your name i'm going to pray for you salome 
Where's your mother? She's at home. Where? We need to pray. God wants to give your family breakthrough. Out of her now. Out of her. Out. Out right now. Out. Out of her. Out. Bring them. She parata barrigate bragate bosha. Niva so paria tabaria dos teke barakata. Ibra tosa palia tabaco seca de bragadia. Reteste parata baco seca de leva. Sipana baco. I set your family free right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Now be free. Now be free. Now be free. Out! Out! Be free in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you become that treasure truly. Let your days of crying come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please rise up. I want us to pray. I'm seeing a lecturer that is going to die next week. If we don't pray, he's going to die. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. God just interrupted this. Please stand up. In one minute, I'd like us to pray before we continue. And say we refuse death. I'm seeing a professor dying next week. Lord, we plead the blood. we plead the blood of God. Oh, we plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you who came with people who are sick, it's time to minister to them right now. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. I know that there are a lot of people and we want to do it very, very fast. I'm sorry we don't take too much time to announce instant miracles. Now, you know, we are bounded by time. If we're doing an afternoon program, we can take so many things. Hallelujah. So I want it's not like we're not celebrating what God is doing. It, it would have been easy now to just ask these people to testify to encourage us. But we don't have all of that time now. There are so many people. There are people after this meeting now may return to certain places. Hallelujah. Please and please. Please and please. We don't fake miracles in this place. We don't, we believe in the power of God. I know that many people have come trusting God for healing. And I know that some of us have come with our loved ones. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, I want us to be orderly in this place. No fighting, no nothing. By the grace of God, we are going to minister to everybody one by one. Hallelujah. Praise God. So please and please, I want you to cooperate with us. Hallelujah. The worship team will lead us in a powerful worship song while we allow those who are sick. You came with someone sick or you are sick. Now is your time to walk up to the front. Come and stand and trust Jesus for a miracle. And make sure you are writing your prayer request. If you don't have any prayer request, hallelujah. Please, if it's someone that cannot stand, maybe if there's a way, protocol can help the people. And then maybe we can have a chair or something, whatever it is. Jesus Christ.
Those of you standing, lift your hands and begin to thank God for the miracles of people. Please pray. Please pray. His presence is here to him. Oh, hallelujah. We give you praise. Those of you coming out, please begin to pray and say, Lord, my time has come. I know you have all kinds of medical reports. Forget about them right now. HIV cases, cancer cases, whatever it is, genotype, don't worry. Jesus is Lord in this place. Lord, we thank you. Please, let's save time. If you've not written your prayer request, Start writing it. He, his presence is here. His presence is here to heal. His presence is here. Let your faith rise. Lord, my time has heal. come. I'm not going back the same. From headache to infection. No matter how little. I am the Lord oh, hallelujah. Jehovah Rapha. There is a God that heals in the house. So heal. One more time. One more time. Jesus heals. Jesus heals. You will be delivered. I don't care what the situation is. To heal, to heal. Oh, I am Lord. The healing team. His presence is here to heal. To heal. Son of man, can these bones live again? Hallelujah. I want you to know, whatever the situation is, there is a God. We are not against doctors. We have doctors here as workers. But let me tell you, it gets to a point in your life where you have done your best. When you have done your best, leave it all to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to believe in the power of the Holy Spirit as I minister to you right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The anointing of the Spirit is strong and I see the angels of the Lord here. Many of you, what you call sickness is not sickness, it's witchcraft. Huh? You will be delivered from it and that will be the end of it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's, when he's ready, he can come and join me. Jake is deeply in the spirit. So just let him. When he's ready, Jesus, I give you all the praise. Those of us who are there, please don't be carried away. Make sure you participate. And let's trust the miracle working power. Especially those of you who God is calling you into a healing ministry. Now is the time to look. Now is the time to concentrate so that you will receive something. We give you all the praise. you go back and begin to check yourself God is healing people come and see in the presence of Lord be healed hold on be please healed. hold on hallelujah daddy don't cry what's wrong with you sir I, I'm suffering from arthritis since 30 years 30 years brothers and sisters 30 years arthritis
uh, and it is a sign of stroke. It gives me a sign of stroke. Is your father? Is your father? Come. What did they tell him in the hospital? Sir, he's having arthritis. He's having. BP. It's not just arthritis. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. This is witchcraft. Do you have pile? Yeah. I'm. If I want to, if I want to, uh, is yourself, is it myself? The thing will be strong. That's what I'm saying. It's pile. This is pile. It's not just arthritis alone. This is pile. This is this is an evil thing. Is that pile? Yes, sir. Is that it's having pile? You are having pile. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You too. You are having pile now. See, this is a cause to destroy everybody in your family. It's not just your father. This thing has been there since. Since. Are you getting my point? You are not the only one. You have suffered with this pile. Even you, it has embarrassed you. It's just something you cannot tell people. Because I'm seeing that if they don't help, you will start bending. It will start like your leg will start paining you. The same thing that is happening to your father will happen to you. You've done for me what no man can do. Jehovah, Bella, Jehovah, Jehovah, you done, done for me. me. What no one else will do. Say, may you love Jehovah. Daddy, there is a name that is greater than any ancestry you will be the first to be healed come hold my hand pile go now you are a devil of darkness i curse you out from her life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus daddy I bring you the life of Jesus Christ. The power of God is coming upon you. Stroke. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. Strength to you. I cast that spirit. Look at this. In the name of the Lord Jesus, come. Stand up. Come by yourself. Come. Come. Just come. 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 Walk. Come. At this 30 years stroke 30 years stroke 30 years stroke come on now look at look at look at look at what is happening to me 30 years stroke come on give jesus praise 30 years stroke look at look at look at this man come on son hey, look at look at this Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at, look at, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, Come on now, hold on, hold on. How many of you saw this man when he was coming? Are you seeing this now? Look at our daddy. Daddy, are you surprised? I'm surprised. What is happening to you, right? There is no penny. Completely. Hey. Look at, look at this. Come on, give Jesus praise. 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 The spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil on, knows celebrate. that I'm the, the, the spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil that knows that yes, I am a winner. Dance to the shame of the, the devil. The spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. The spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, there are people who believe that these things are stage managed. 
Hallelujah. How can you stage manage a miracle with an elderly man like this? Eh? From Niger State. This is his first time coming all the way from Niger State. 30 years arthritis. Hallelujah. I prophesy to your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen. In the name that is above all names. I prophesy. Just leave him. Leave him. He's just sitting down. He's, he's so excited he doesn't know what to do with himself. I cannot stand up by myself like that. Before. Alright. Sit down and try it again. Sit down and try it again. You know he couldn't stand up. But help him. Help him sit down. Try to stand up now. Look at this. Help him. Oh, hallelujah. It never returns again in the name of Jesus. Whoever is responsible for any evil, he will reap what he has sown. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Let's hurry up. Let's when Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hey! When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Please, if you are with a little child, can you guide them so that we know what is wrong with them? Let's save time. There are a number of people. Hallelujah. Madam, look at me. This woman is going through a very serious situation. But let me tell you, it will change. I don't care what has been removed. One has been removed. They removed. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. What exactly did the doctor say? They didn't say anything. That I can no longer conceive. You can no longer conceive. Why? one has been removed and the other one is not healthy. One has been removed. The other one is not healthy. Ah! Son of man, can this bones be bigger? <laughs> Hallelujah! I wish this woman was here who had been burying that carried her child. I don't know if she's here. This fair lady, she's not here. Bro. I wish she were here, she would have brought the child. And let's see that medical reports can be cancelled. She's not here. Habiba's sister, Sadia's sister, she's not here. That one. Is she around? Come, come, come with the child. Where is she? Come with the child to the shame of the devil. That's a woman they say will never take in. Come with your child. That's a miracle baby there. Come. Please come, madam. Sorry, don't be embarrassed. Clear the way for her. I want to encourage you. Come. This kind God, oh, I never see in kind, no. This kind God, oh, bless the me. Hallelujah. Name. Hold on. This, this is a woman that nothing would have been able to happen. Nothing completely. But look at the fine boy. See, look, let me tell you. There is nothing that ends argument like results. You can fake a headache, can you fake a child? Hallelujah. Madam, let me tell you the truth. You will not only carry a child, you will carry plenty of people. Please believe. 
I, I, I brought her out to show you. When they gave birth to this baby, this baby was looking like an angel. They were snapping the baby, right? Hallelujah. Father, every woman in this place, every family, trusting God for a miracle child, in the name that is above all names, you did it for this family, do it again. Do it again, oh God. Do it again, oh God. Hallelujah. Madam, you will be free right now. Look at me. I don't care whether one womb has been removed or whether another one is not working. It's irrelevant. All I know is you will have children and they will grow in wombs. Where it will come, that is not my responsibility. Are you getting my point now? The child is saying amen. Something will leave you now. This is this is demonic. Let this woman go now. I command that you get pregnant, give birth to miracle children. We create new wombs right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is done, you will return with your miracle children. I will attend to everybody now will be very very fast so that we can save time. Worship him please. My God is awesome. He can move my Hold on. Let her talk. Yaro na ne aje Israel. Ne aje Israel zin. She she na aiki the Nigeria Christian Progress Commission Abuja. So say so ta ke fi ya lidin ya ni south south. Say ya e do guda kudu sun je sun du ke shi. So ka chire shi daga fourth floor. Sun yet the shark, sir. So, a carabac put your wagon she. Tun deserve about fourteen. In a palmer, I is red. She may ask her not chain. Am I Nike and Zoo? Harry and Zoo? Am I in Zoo? Look at Chin, they are fardy. I'm sure, but there you bung and about. But there you look too bad. But there you take fear about. Oh, Gassi, I cheat to a chick about the treating dish. Yay, I do a lay a gay machine. There you take fear. There you mugana. There you. So, Yenzungena Rubutu, Yena Magana, a Makofa de Befara Tefia. Father, in the name of your son Jesus Christ, all the way from Nigeria by the power of the Holy Ghost, Kabala Toza Tabaranda Kalibata, Zide Lembrashko Brande Kalabati Laka Braste Brasti Satabala, Mande Kebreske Latosko Bari Dalaba. In the name of Jesus. What's his name? Bege Pochechet. Bege, we call you now. Those, I don't care whether they are broken, whatever is wrong with it. Receive life now. Receive life now. We command you to stand up from that dead bed. Stand up from that deathbed now. Your hands will write. Your eyes will see. Your feet will walk. Every broken bone. We mend it now. Thank you, Jesus. Mama, you will return with a testimony. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray for you. Now get you on buyer. Hold on. Buying can make his affairs sometimes go. Your back. Come and get the kafa. Harian as well. At the kafa. They call it sending kashiabi. In Aosa. That's what? Rheumatism. I'm going to pray for you. We'll pray. We'll soon get interpreters. Aosa, Baju, anyone. English, I hear Baju. Everyone. What's that, your son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. That's what? That's baggy. Ah, hold on. Come on. Sam. But can you walk in Kaduna? Hold on now. 
Yang kaduna baku ya wak anggarin ku ba. Zina zang papa baje bawa, ah baje bawa. Zina zang papa baje bawa, oh ye baje bawa. Zina zang papa baje bawa. You don't know what they are saying. Just be just be there. Hallelujah. Mommy, be healed of rheumatism now. In the name of Jesus, I cause that pain right now in your legs. Be healed. Stand up. Come. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, strength to your leg. I cause it. Pain go. Walk, man. Walk. 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 Look at this. Walk. Look at this. Any any improvement on your leg? Look at. Look at. Rheumatism. Couldn't walk well on one leg. In the name of Jesus Christ, it becomes permanent, completely permanent. In Jesus' name, and your son is healed, and he will return. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you. We have to hurry up. Sam, sing something else, please. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Heals me when I'm broke. Strength where I've been weakened. Pray Heal now in the name of Jesus. My God.
Usher, start collecting the prayer requests very quickly. Start collecting the prayer requests very quickly.
Praise the Lord. The Lord is healing and perfecting this man. Hallelujah. He came here with all kinds of pain. But in the name of Jesus, the pain is gone. Daddy, I want you to take a step of faith to walk. Leave him. Just support him, but leave him. Make sure, you, don't worry, you won't fall, Daddy. They are standing at your back. Try to turn and walk. Look at this. I could not use this knee before because of arthritis for six weeks. Very painful. But look at I've been able to move it. The pain my is gone. <laughs> the pain is gone. The pain is gone. Don't worry, Daddy. Don't look at the pain. Just look at me. Just look at me. Walk. Follow me. Forget about the leg. Just look at me. Just look at me. Don't take your eyes away from me. I cause evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Try to lift the leg. Try to lift it now. Don't worry. You won't fall. Lift it. Lift it. Look at. Lift it. Lift it, Daddy. Lift it. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Try walking, sir. Father, you have begun this. It, it is perfected. Me, I curse the spirit that sponsors evil. Because this is witchcraft. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the mercy of the Son of the living God. I command this spell from the crown of your head, Daddy. To the sole of your feet be healed. I command the knee, the ankles. In the name of Jesus Christ, be made whole. In Jesus' name. You will not fall. They are supporting you. Please don't be afraid. Just follow me. Come. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me, sir. Look at me. Now come. Come. Just come. Just come. 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 Look at this. Come on now. Koinonia celebrate Jesus. He's walking by himself. Don't worry. You will not fall. They are supporting you. Just come. Just come. Leave them that you walk by yourself. Come. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Come. Come on, Koinonia. He's walking by himself. Exercising the leg.
Every chain is breaking, whatever it is, wherever it is, it's breaking, yeah, breaking, it's breaking, yeah, breaking, and it's falling, it's falling, it's bowing, 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 it's bowing, it's falling, falling. Hallelujah. I know we're out of time. Please turn the prayer request. If you've not written your prayer request, those online, they should connect with us. We want to pray right now. Hallelujah. God is setting people free. Please don't miss the prophecy after this because it's very, very important. Hallelujah. God is going to be... If you've not submitted your prayer request, please do that. Just wave your hands and the ushers will come to you quickly. Please, one minute, one minute. One minute. Let's do this quickly. All those connecting with us, um, through the internet, they can just connect by faith. Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes will lead us to this session. Praise the Lord. If you can rise, please rise. This is a very prophetic moment. Look at me. Hold on. We're not just doing this foolishly. This is an instruction God gave us. Hallelujah. We've had unspeakable testimonies. I believe almost everybody, this is summary of your prayer request. We may not have time to deal with it. This, please, don't make it ritualistic. Hallelujah. The Bible says Hezekiah took the threat letter and took it to the temple and he dropped it before God. Stretch your hands and begin to pray. As Pastor Jakes leads us through this. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want, I want you to pray. We're going to be laying our hands on this request right now. And I'm telling you, God is going to be releasing miracles. You're standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, this is it. Everything I've written here lives my life. Everything that needs to come into my life, please pray. Participate in the meeting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, Queen Tongues. Shele braka to la man mang dosi prega la 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 boko so para ba la braka la 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 ba dosi mbara la 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 boko so para ya da 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 baka shada da braka la 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 da boko so baka da baka da rata ba la 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 Rata tapa ya rabala bala 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 in no se i kapari onde in do o pari ala kabau se i la baha re i tapa on se i tapa na kada li i no se i ma kong se i ne panda ma pre kong se prenda kong de i ri i pari on se i la ha ri no se i para i o se i la kabel ha mi a dash ka i na tanda kong de mi e kong ka i na kanda ba ha ra kanda o i la ha na kong de Si que pambro y acá Mi amor se y le tanto Y le patrón de pie Entonces y capaz de él Raía pateria Arrosta y está aviando Y le está Ruiz de hilo 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 
Lord sees us with his eyes of mercy. He answers our prayers speedily. Lord, your grace. I see the angels of God come like flash of light real fast, bringing answers to prayers. For some of us, we will receive calls even tonight. Answers, answers, answers to prayers. Ah, just like Hezekiah opened us his prayers before the Lord. And right before the prophet left the temple, answers came. The answers come tonight in the name of Jesus. The answers come tonight in the name of Jesus. The Lord brings healing. Aha. Thank you, blessed Lord. Bakos i perioto shimile gamfron siki parodo sile branda karabadose. There's a particular case of consistent pain on your ankle, the right ankle. That person wrote it as a prayer request. The Lord is healing that in the name of Jesus. Father, we lay these prayer points before you. The God of all flesh, the God of all spirits, Abba Father. God, you are greater than our challenges. You are bigger than every problem we have. We ask you, blessed Father, let the seal of your spirit be upon these prayers in the name of Jesus. Let the seal of Jesus, the power of his blood, speak in the name of Jesus. We cause doors to open in the blessed name of Jesus. We command breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Let answers come speedily by your spirit in the name of Jesus. For every heart cry, every pain, the Lord wipes away tears in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for every prayer point here, Lord, is sealed in the name of Jesus. It is answered in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise, we give you the glory, for we pray in the blessed name of Jesus. And we decree, we declare that we are blessed and our answers have come. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up on your feet. This is, this is a very serious moment right now. A few minutes and we'll be out of here. But this is very prophetic. For me, I consider this to be the greatest part of the meeting. Where we get to use the power of prophecy to change people's situation. Because of our time, please, there are people here. You've not given your life to Jesus. You've seen the works of the kingdom. And tonight, you're saying, Jesus... I want to make it right with you wherever you are please as i pray i want you to march forward you'll be the first i'm going to pray for there are people here right now others you've given your life to christ but you've not found yourself living the way of the kingdom and you're saying lord enough is enough enough is enough don't be ashamed don't wait for everybody everyone has joined the kingdom you are the only one left i'd like you to find your way courageously to the front right now celebrate them god bless you as you come people are coming God bless you. Don't be afraid. God bless you. I know there are many people outside. There are many people inside. Don't wait for anyone. This is a decision. This is your salvation. This is very important. Forget about your friend. Forget about who you came with. Quickly, quickly, please save time. We'll just count one to three. One. Those outside, double up. Don't be ashamed. You don't feel ashamed when a gift is being given unto you. Please find your way around to Jesus Christ. Don't be ashamed. This is a decision to begin to walk with God. Don't be emotional about it. This is a sincere decision. It can decide your eternity after now. Don't sit back. There are people still sitting back. The Holy Ghost is telling you to get up and come. The Bible says if you hear his voice in that day, harden not your heart. God bless you. God bless you. There are more people coming from outside. Please celebrate them very quickly. Find your way to the front. hallelujah thank you so much for coming this is the greatest decision in this place lift your hands those of you those joining them please join them quickly young and old everyone join them it's never too late for you to join them god bless you our sister thank you thank you so much thank you so much we don't have all the time but please 
make your way very quickly if you have to come it's never too late lift your hands those of you hallelujah people are used to making very emotional decisions when they respond to the altar call but please we mean business this is very very serious god bless you our sister just join us very quickly say after me lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe you died for me i believe you shed your blood for me tonight i make you my lord and savior i repent of my sins i receive eternal life into my spirit from today i declare that i begin to make progress in my life i submit to the authority of jesus i denounce sin and satan from today i move forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus keep the hands lifted up father thank you these hands are lifted unto you they will never be put down in the name of jesus let their salvation experience be genuine and let it last thank you for this decision they are making today the powers of darkness that take them back into sin and the way of death we command that they are set free from it in the name of jesus christ do wonders in their lives make mighty men and women out of them in the name of jesus christ we celebrate you we love you we honor you thank you for making this great decision now i'd like you to follow the ushers the people with blue and black hallelujah follow the gentleman this side just follow them they'll have your details and then we'll communicate to you celebrate them koinonia thank you so much everybody lift your hands please rise rise as we pray praise the lord by the way let me celebrate pastor pete rock's wife she's, she's been hiding hallelujah if you want them to celebrate your husband tomorrow clap hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah please i'd like you to shout amen as we pray he said son of man can these bones live again he said only thou knowest and he said prophesy hallelujah praise the lord this is the part where everybody gets to participate because the word is living like rain and it can alter your destiny hallelujah lord we give you praise right now in the name that is above all names i pray every door that has been closed over anyone's life every door that is closed over anyone's life be open now be open now be open now i command breakthrough right now in the name of jesus every closed door over your destiny be open now every terminal disease in your body i command that it comes to an end now it comes to an end now it comes to an end now hallelujah the bible says and esther found favor before the king and the king said what shall i do to you even up to half of my kingdom i pray in the name that is above all names may an anointing for favor a real anointing with proofs may it come upon your life now receive favor now favor with god favor with man hallelujah the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon and the king whoever needs to send for you who, whichever destiny helper needs to connect you with the next level of your life i call them into your life now i call them into your life now in the name of the son of the living god destiny help us share the word of the lord i command divine connections in the name of jesus christ he said and thou shalt 
increase my greatness and comfort me round about let me tell you the truth the lord has not called you to a life of weakness and mediocrity therefore i prophesy that anointing for breaking limits i prophesy it upon your life move to the next level academically move to the next level in the name of jesus christ listen listen there's no such thing as joblessness huh the bible says the vine dresser passed and saw them idle he said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us and he told them go to the vine there is always work when god speaks he saw them idle. he said why sittest without there are many people here trusting god for jobs right now in the name that is above all names between now and next miracle service receive your miracle job i prophesy it i release it for you and for your family members receive it now receive it now receive it now there are people who are overdue for promotion in their workplace the bible says listen the bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west nor the south god can take a man from a dunghill and place him above even if you are not working you can stand for your loved ones man de i pray as surely as the god of heaven lives whoever is due for promotion and has been hindered we release it now we release it now we release it now we release it now hallelujah and elijah told his servant he said check and he came back he said there is nothing he said go and check again and he said i saw a cloud like the feast of a man i pray in the name that is above all names let there be the sound of abundance i provoke abundance right now i provoke abundance in the name of jesus the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand shall complete it whatever you and your family members have started i don't care what the project is whatever resource is required receive the finisher's anointing receive the finisher's anointing in the name of the lord jesus christ everyone trusting god for a godly relationship and marriage my bible tells me male and female he created them he didn't say male and male he says seek out of the book and read none of these words shall fail none shall want a mate i declare right now that any spell of darkness that has tied you maritally as surely as the god of heaven lives right now i release you i command your exodus now I command your exodus right now for those trusting God for resources you want to marry but you are tied down financially and the Lord told Elijah go to the brook Cherith there a raven will come and feed you we provoke the mystery of divine supply he said you shall not see the wind you shall not see rain but the valley shall be filled with water I command supply right now by the favor of the Lord God of Israel let there be supplies hallelujah I pray for you the Bible says you will be blessed in the city and you will be blessed even in the country he said whatsoever you lay your hands to do is blessed lift up those hands in the name of Jesus from today whatever you do with these hands 
may they be blessed may they produce remarkable results hallelujah and he said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it when Balak told Balaam to curse Israel he said I have been commanded to bless this I have done and it cannot be reversed I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may your hands be blessed scripture said they are taken for a prey and none said restore there must be a voice to cry restoration in the name that is above all names i command restoration of all the years the canker worm has eaten and the palmer worm let there be restoration now hallelujah hallelujah the bible says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side none shall harm you only with you your eyes will you watch and behold the reward of the wicked you see bomb blasts everywhere there's nowhere that looks safe again the only place of safety is the name of the lord for the bible says it is a tower a strong tower i declare anyone marked for death here or any family marked for death either by witchcraft bomb blast assassins or any kind of political wickedness the blood of jesus separates you from the spirit of death you shall not die you shall not die not by accident not by bomb blast not by terrorism in the name of jesus the bible says as for me and my house i prayed for you now i pray for your house in the name that is above all name whatever has mocked the god of israel in your house we change that report right now whatever has mocked the god of israel sarah said those who laugh at me have now laughed with me i declare we change the story of your family And his mother named him Jabez because she said I bore him in sorrow and Jabez prayed and said oh that thou wouldest bless me any name that has been given to you because of your past and is following you today we change that name right now thank you Jesus I pray for you right now lift your hands let the empowerment of the holy ghost please lift your hands just i just have one minute there will be impartations right now the anointing of the spirit all kinds of gifts of the spirit take it now take it now take it now take it now take it receive it prophetic anointings apostolic anointings healing anointing take it take it take it everywhere inside and outside entrepreneurship anointings receive it business ideas receive it let the spirit of excellence come upon you right now every dead prayer life in this place i command it to come back alive every dead word life i command it to come back alive now go and heal the sick go and cast out devils i call you an ambassador with the equipping of heaven go and represent the value system of heaven go and be a light change people's situations speak over their lives Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. 
tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.